blessings beautiful people i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day i hope all is well make sure before we get started that you guys like share and most importantly subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of all the great things god is doing in and through me on this channel so uh, your girl was on her way um to to hang out with with uh well not hang out um i was on my way to get some crab legs so i'm i'm excited but i wanted to come on and share this word uh earlier this morning i was up in prayer um praying to god and just really crying out to god and he gave me uh, this message usually when when God gives me a message he doesn't give me a title or anything like that I, I normally come up with it after um but this time he gave me a title and he, he said call it the blessing and so when we think of the blessing what comes to mind like when you're sitting here right now and as I'm saying you know somebody says you know the blessing of God or be blessed or I hope God blesses me what what do you think about like, do you think about a, a house? You think about a car? You think about, you know, millions of dollars or, you know, having all these things? Is is that what pops into your mind first when you think of the blessing? Now, I, I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying that you're wrong for thinking that way because I do believe that God wants us to have, you know, a house, to have shelter. Um, I do believe that God wants us to have a car to be able to, you know, get around to, to places we need need to get around to. I believe that God doesn't want us to be, you know, poor. He wants us to to be prosperous and and to dominate and to to have resources because those are the things that we need to be able to take care of uh, the things that we need to get done in this earth. And so God is very understanding of that. You know, Jesus had a treasure. So I, I believe that God wants us to have money, but I don't think. Um, that the blessing is necessarily the house, the car. I believe that's that those things are part of the benefit package, but I don't think that's the totality of what God meant. You know, when 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 God is talking about the blessing of Abraham, when you think about it, you know, the blessing of Abraham, Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Um, it was his belief in God, his, his obedience to God and God accounted to him. He told him, you, you would always have someone sitting on your throne. You look at the stars. You won't be able to number them. That's how far your seat will go. And so his lineage, his legacy, everything, the, the knowledge and understanding his relationship with God, his being led by Holy spirit, where, where God came to him and said, I'll get thee out of thy, thy father's house and go to a land where I'm taking you. I believe that was the blessing, the ability to be able to hear God and obey what God says and follow what God says. And so I, I got a couple, of, I got a scripture for you. I, I there was a, a lot, but, um, I, I thought this was good. So we're in Genesis 39 and five. I am reading from the Amplified Version, um, so just so you know. So it says, it happened that from that time, from the time that he made Joseph overseer in his house and put him in charge over all that he owned, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house because of Joseph. So the Lord's blessing was on everything that Potiphar owned in the house and in the field. And so when I when I was reading that and I was up this morning in prayer, you know, the Lord just began to talk to me about the, the, the blessing and how we we think about everything that that happened here. But because this man was faithful or he made Joseph the man of God overseer of everything god blessed everything that he would do and so he was blessed with instruction um about he got interpretation of his dream he was blessed and prepared for the famine that was coming he was prepared for and so i really think that the byproduct of the blessing or knowing god hearing his voice and obeying it causes you to re reap um sometimes material things but sometimes it helps you in your decision making it helps you um, in your understanding. So I believe that God wants us to understand that the blessing that he's talking about, where, where it says, and I, and, and I, I think of this song that just comes to my head that I love. It, it goes, uh, uh, and, and the blessing be upon you for a thousand generations and your family and your family and your children and your seed. And so I believe that the blessing that God wants us to have is to be for the eyes of our understanding, to be enlightened, that me, we may know him, that we may know why he called us, what his purpose is for us, that we may walk 
and be led and guided by Holy Spirit. Because when we do that, then we're in the perfect plan and will of God. Think about Joseph. Joseph, you know, I, I kind of went down in the scripture, but when it, if you, if you read Genesis, it talks about all the things that he endured, but what happened when it was his time, um, to, to come up to interpret the dream, you know, he was obedient to the voice of the Lord. He didn't sleep with Potiphar's wife. He didn't do anything out of the ordinary when he was in prison. He didn't, you know, he didn't do anything crazy, but he listened to the voice of God. And when it was his time, he was led by the spirit to, to, to help the Egyptian people prepare for the, for the toughest famine that was coming. And it didn't only bless the Egyptians, it blessed Joseph and his family. Um, his family was blessed for it. So I believe that the blessing of God is be being able to hear God. God said to me this morning when I was in prayer, my sheep hear my voice and the voice of the stranger they won't follow. It is a blessing to be able to hear God, to know that, okay, to be able to decipher because there are so many voices in the world. You have your voice. You have the voice of Satan. You have the voice of fallen angels speaking. And we're trying to filter through to decipher, okay, which, which, okay, was that me who said that? Was that Satan who said that? Or was that God who said that? And so to be able to hear the voice of God, to hear his leading when he says, okay, no, 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 I don't want you to do that. No, 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 I don't want you to go that way. No, 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 I want you to do that because that could cause you and everyone around you to reap the benefit of your leading and guidance and, and, and obedience to the guidance of Holy Spirit. So I wanted to come on and share that. I, I don't believe that, you know, the blessing is, is necessarily a hundred percent things. You know, when people say, God bless you, I, I, the real blessing, cause that, that stuff fades away. Like it don't go into the kingdom with us. That, that stuff is, it fades away. But the things that, that is everlasting is God, the knowledge, the understanding of him, uh, the understanding of the kingdom and how it works. Those things is what lasts. So when I think of the blessing, I think of that. That's what a, God bless me with revelation knowledge. Bless me with understanding. Bless me with, with favor. Have your way in and through me, God, and open up my understanding that I would hear you in a way that I've never heard you before. And so I wanted to come on and share that and let you guys know, um, what the Lord said uh, to me in prayer, just make sure um, that one last thing he did, you know, I was praying and I was asking him about uh, the vaccine and I said, Lord, you know, I, I don't know, you know, I looked up a little bit, but I'm a little leery of it. And he, he began to talk to me about how it's setting the stage, how it's setting the stage. I don't, I don't know if uh, this vaccine is the mark of the beast. I'm, I don't, it, unless the Lord tell me to take it, I, I, yeah, I'm not for it because I don't have enough information. I haven't heard the Lord say yay or nay. And so until I hear God speak, I don't want to move. But I believe that this vaccine is setting the stage for us to be conditioned and have a, a mind that's conditioned to do stuff like this. And so when the mark of the beast comes, then you already they already conditioned you to take this and so you're conditioned to take the mark of the beast as if you know we think that it, it, how we think things are going to happen is is way different than how it is it ain't just gonna happen overnight where it ain't just gonna happen one day just suddenly no no it's going to happen gradually they gradually did things gradually when we think of things that that are happening in the world it didn't just happen overnight you know, you got 9-11, you got all the things that happened. You have um, uh, uh, just so many things that happened in the world that got us to this place. And so none of this is overnight. This has been happening and, and not even 9 so many other things that has happened that is pushing us towards what the Bible says. And so make sure you guys are praying that you're praying without ceasing, that you're praying about this vaccine. Um, don't move by your emotions. Make sure Holy Spirit is leading and guiding you because if you are not led and guided by the Spirit in this last time, it is going to be hard to make it. And so you want to make sure that Holy Spirit is leading and guiding and directing your steps. 
on everything you do. There, there is no time for gray area. If you're unsure about something, acknowledge Holy Spirit. Acknowledge God in all your ways and he'll do what? He'll direct your path. So be blessed, people of God. I love you. Most importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. I'm about to go and grub on these crab legs. I'm so excited about them. I hope you guys are having a good, good lunch, good dinner, whatever it may be. God bless you. God bless you with understanding and revelation of him, revelation of his kingdom. I pray that he would lead and guide you um, and just begin to speak to you that you would hear his voice and the voice of a stranger you won't follow. Be blessed, people of God. Again, I love you. Most importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. Have a great day. Bye.